Hey guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bass. And today we're gonna continue the, the holiday video series. We thought we were gonna bring it to an end here in the next couple of days, but the outpouring has been so strong, the request for videos has been so strong, that we're gonna do a few more for you. Uh, the next one that we wanted to do, per all of your requests, is jig fishing. Now we have done some really advanced jig videos in the past. Uh, we'll put a link to those for you. So if you really want that in-depth stuff, it's there. This is more of a buyer's guide like we've been doing. So we'll keep it pretty simple. Basically, I'm gonna recommend five jigs. Uh, we'll give you some color recommendations down in the video description. Again, all of these will be in the video description. So every jig, every trailer, every rod, all of it, the links are right there. So you or your loved ones don't have to go try and find it on your own. They're gonna take you straight to Tackle Warehouse, right to those products. Uh, so you either you shopping or sharing this with your loved ones makes it a lot easier. We'll also include color recommendations. Uh, but again, it'll be five jigs, three different kinds of trailers, three different rods. Really simple for somebody that really doesn't know a whole lot about fishing to make some easy decisions. So right off the bat, we'll talk about these jigs. Now, you guys know Tim and I pretty well. We've done a lot of videos with you. You know that we are not very brand specific. We, we tend to use what we like, share what we like, regardless of who makes it, does not matter to us. The one exception to that is jigs, dirty jigs. If you guys have been with us over the years, you know we are passionate about dirty jigs. And I wanna be totally upfront with you about that. So the jigs I'm gonna tell you about are dirty jigs, but the information you can take to, to whatever you like, that's fine. But personally, We've been with Dirty Jigs from the very, very beginning, helped with a lot of product development. We've seen the thing grow. We love that product. So I just want to tell you that up front. That is what I, that's what I like. It's what Tim likes. It's, it's what we're passionate about. So uh, let's jump into those jigs. First one is going to be a flipping jig. Basically what a flipping jig is for is all your really heavy cover fishing. If there's a lot of brush, a lot of trees, a lot of tulies, a uh, lot of grass. That's where a flipping jig really comes in. The head shape is designed perfectly for those applications. Typically a very heavy wire hook works great for big fish. Next is going to be a pitching jig. A pitching jig is more of an arky style head. If you could only own one jig, that's the one to buy. So if you're just wanting to pick up some baits for somebody in your life, a pitch and jig is absolutely the way to go. This head style is not the perfect application for every single category, but it works in every category. And a lot of other jigs don't. They're kind of niche baits. The pitch and jig works for everything. That is an amazing choice. The third one is going to be a football jig, really wide head typically more of a finesse application. Now you can get them with a heavy hook like this, but there are also several finesse options. Again, we're gonna give you all that and break it down so it's really easy in the video description. But the football jig, if you have a lot of pressured fish, uh, if it's hard to get a jig bite where you live, that's a great way to go. And then the next one is going to be your, uh, your true finesse jig, which is taking it even a step farther than the football, little compact finesse jig. If it's tough to get bit, if you need fish in the boat, if you're on a spotted bass fishery, a smallmouth fishery, those are a dynamite option. Of course they work great in largemouth fisheries too, but that little compact bait is dynamite around all those different species. And then last, the swim jig. The California swim jig bait that I had a huge hand in designing years ago, that is a bait that we just love everywhere you go. Swim jigs are a phenomenal way to just upsize your catch, catch a little bit bigger fish than you can catch on other things. And again, we've done some very in-depth videos in the past, so I won't try and explain it all here, but that's the fifth style that we would go with. The nice thing about jigs too is they're fairly inexpensive, so you can buy somebody just a, a run of them, just one of these, one of those, put together a nice package for somebody and they can try them all. 
Now, trailers, I'm gonna make that even more simplistic. I'm only gonna give you three recommendations. First one is a Yamamoto double tail grub. The double tail works really well paired up with the finessier jigs. So it pairs up well with the football, uh, with the finesse jig, it's great for those. Next one is gonna be the Reaction Innovation Sweet Beaver. This is definitely my number one jig trailer. This is probably what I use 90 to 95% of the time. Uh, it's a very dead action trailer. What I mean by that is it, it has a great profile. It looks very nice, but it really doesn't do much of anything. Uh, but that action, that, that dead action combined with that really clean look is a fish catcher. If you want a bait with a little more movement, a bait that I've experimented a lot with this year is a Rage Tail Structure Bug. That's a Strike King bait. Very similar profile to a beaver, but the tails actually have some movement to them. A lot like a pack -a chunk or a pack -a craw uh, another dynamite option. So if you want a little more movement, you go this way. If you want that dead action, you go with a beaver. Uh, and then if you're going finesse, go to that double tail grub. Again, keeping it really simple. And uh, I'll give you colors for those as well. Now rods, if you're going the finesse route, those lighter jigs, I would typically go with something in the seven foot to seven foot two range. Uh, this is a Shimano Zodius 7.2 medium because for this application, you don't need a really, really heavy rod. Uh, those, those hooks are fairly light. You can get away with running a lighter line. Uh, I pair it with a Corrado 200. Uh, I like braid, so I run braid to a liter, but even if you're a fluoro guy, you know, you could throw 10 to 15 pound fluoro all day long with those baits and do just fine. Uh, if you're going, to the other end of the spectrum. If you're throwing the flipping jig, if you're throwing the California swim jig, if you think you're gonna be around big fish, a rod that I cannot ignore, this is a rod I've preached for years and years and years, is the Dobbin 765 Flip. Now, rods have changed a lot in recent years. There are rods out there now that are a lot more sensitive than that particular blank, but the action of that blank is phenomenal for keeping big jig fish pinned. There is no way around it. Uh, if you want a rod where you can put the screws to a really big fish and just grind them to the boat, have confidence that that rod is gonna load up, even if that big fish is shaking, it's gonna keep them pinned, that's the way to go. Again, Corrado 200, I keep it pretty simple. I run heavier braid on that one, of course. Running anything in the 17 to 25 pound liter or main line for that one. And then right down the middle, again, Corrado 200, pretty simple there. Uh, this is the Dobbins 784. Uh, it's their higher end, the Champion Extreme HP. That's a rod that we talked about in a couple of the other videos during the holiday season as well. Tim talked about this in the very last video. But this is a rod that for all those mid-range baits, it's probably the most versatile. You can throw a finesse because it has a ton of tip. So you can throw a finesse jig if you need to, but you can throw a football, you could throw a pitching jig, you can even throw the lighter end of flipping jigs. I wouldn't go with like a three quarter ounce flipping jig, um, but up to a half ounce, absolutely. If you just want one rod that's really, really nice to throw jigs, that's that middle of the road rod. It's not a flipping stick and it's not ultra finesse but it is everything in between. This rod with a pitching jig with a beaver on it, will carry you just about every day of the year. Uh, now, I did bring up the weight thing, and that is important too, because jigs come in all sorts of different weights. If I could only choose one weight jig, it would be half ounce. Uh, that is not something I said in the past. I used to use heavier, uh, but I've kind of changed my mind a little bit. I think half ounce is that perfect jig size. Now, if you're finesse fishing, obviously you go a lot lighter than that. Uh, three eighths is a really nice size, but if you're just buying a, a sampling of jigs or if you want one jig to do it all, half ounce, that's the way to go. Half ounce pitching jig, put a beaver on the back, put it on that 784, you're pretty well good to go. 
So I hope that guys, that uh, helps you out guys. Um, we appreciate all the requests. Again, we have done some much more detailed jig videos. If you want that detailed how to, when, where, why each head, we have that information for you. Uh, Tim gave you some links already. I'm gonna put those down in the video description also. Uh, but for the holidays, this is just a sampling. Those are great baits. I don't care if you live in California, you live on the East Coast, you fish up along the Great Lakes, you're down in Florida flipping the grass, it doesn't matter. Those jigs will get it done everywhere. We hope that helps. Thanks for watching the video. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We'll talk to you soon.